Hi, this is Natalie Lissier, and today we're talking about how to teach online classes and what tools I recommend to do that. So if you're anything like me, when you're starting out online, you're probably looking for the best ways to teach an online class to a group of people. And maybe that means for you that you want to do live video. It could be that you want to do purely audio. Maybe you want to do a webinar with slides. Um, we'll cover all of those things today, but I really want to focus on live video. So I'm going to be talking about a number of different options here. So the first one that I'm going to recommend is called Ustream. And Ustream is a really, really cool way to be on camera on your computer and to be live and to be able to chat with people and answer questions in a live environment. Next, we have Livestream. And Livestream is very similar to Ustream. It allows you to be live on camera on your computer, to be recording and being answering questions in the chat uh, and live as well. So Ustream and Livestream, very comparable, similar concept, and definitely check those out. Next, we have Vocal. And Vocal is really cool because it allows you to bring in guest panelists. So you still have that chat environment and you still have uh, you on camera, but you can also bring in other people to your chat. So if you have guest teachers that you want to have live, Vocal is a great tool. Next, we have Spreecast. And Spreecast is very similar to Vocal in that you can have more than one person uh, demoing or talking live on camera and what I love about this one is that it can be great for teams of people so this is slightly different from teaching a class but let's say that you had four people uh, on your team or four people who wanted to teach a class you could all do that live and Spreecast just allows you to do that easily and you can also have participants join on camera as well very similar to Spreecast, we have Watch It 2, and Watch It 2 allows you to have a number of different people in an online classroom to all be on video. So if you want to see how attentive your people are while you're watching or while they're watching your presentation and your class, Watch It 2 is a great way to do that because you can see everybody in the class on video as well. Next, we have Google Plus and Google Hangouts. You just go over here and click Start a Hangout and you can choose who you want to invite to this hangout. So this is probably better if you have a smaller classroom and you want to focus on a small group of people in one online classroom. Similarly, if you're going to be doing a smaller classroom and you know exactly who's going to be joining, Skype video also offers uh, an upgrade that you can use to do video with a number of different people. And if you do want to do slides as well as uh, teaching, I recommend GoToWebinar. That's what I use for the webinars that I run. Uh, it might not be in your budget, so there are definitely other similar webinar companies. If you're looking to do webinars, you might also look into Adobe Connect, which is very similar to GoToWebinar and you can have slides as well as a number of different people on audio as well as video. And these are all for live classes. So there's definitely the option of using something like ScreenFlow or Camtasia and recording yourself as you teach a class while you're showing PowerPoint or keynote presentation and then uploading that video to a members only area to teach a class. But these are all the live options that I'm recommending. Definitely there are tons of other options and I definitely recommend that you research more, but these are the ones that I've tried and tested and I've seen work really well for people. So I hope you enjoyed these different options and I hope you got something out of it. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up on YouTube and make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss future videos and more ways to get techie with it. So if you want more of this, please head over to gettechynow.com and join the newsletter and get your free website checkup. That's it for today and I'll catch you next time.